Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide, where this afternoon I'm here in Hastings on the seafront to come and visit Flamingo Park in the wonderful sunshine. You can see the park just on the other side there of the lake, and of course you've got lots of other different attractions down here on the seafront as well. So I'll take you for a little walk around so you can see everything that there is to do down here on Hastings Seafront. If you haven't already, check out yesterday's vlog. I did film it this morning, um, about an hour and a half away, about 50 miles, uh, and I went to Harbour Park in Little Hampton. Um, so check out out that vlog if you've not already seen it. Now it is a lot busier than I was expecting to be coming into Hastings. It actually took me nearly two hours uh, to actually find a parking space because it's carnival day here in Hastings so I'm glad that it's staying dry for them even if it is a little bit windy. Loads of road closures and things coming in so it took me a bit longer um, than expecting to get here but it is what it is. I've got parked up and made it down here to the seafront. Another sad thing is that as you can see the spinning coaster that I've come to see isn't operating due to the high winds which is a shame luckily I've already been on it I've got the credit when it was at Dreamland Margate but yeah it's Pinball X uh, it's been bought by Flamingo Park and opened here earlier in 2021 but as much as I'm not going to be riding it in this vlog I'll take a look at the ride and also put in a POV from Dreamland Margate uh, that I recorded a few years ago just so you can see what the ride is like but yeah come and join me we'll get a few rides we've got a ghost train paratrooper a few other bits in there as well so we'll get a few rides in and of course uh, make the most of it might even capture some of the uh, carnival don't have a clue what time it is or when it's coming past but whilst I'm here may as well have a look got to uh, make up for not getting on the spinning coaster well it might be a little bit windy this afternoon here in Hastings but overall it's quite a pleasant afternoon sun's out and there you can see over towards Flamingo Park but yeah I must say the spinning coaster as much as it's not operating today and of course safety is paramount it still looks great doesn't it like when you look at it across the boating lake just here yeah with the pirate ship there behind it not just that what they've got down here though of course they've also got the star flyer there as well but yeah that can't operate either due to these strong winds but yeah you've got the ghost train a few different flat rides in there there is another little coaster that i think's operating the caterpillar i've already got the credit but of course i'll show you that whilst i'm down here just to give you a bit of an idea on what there is down on hastings seafronts of course you've got these swan boats down here unfortunately they're all bagged up as well i wonder if that's due to the wind surely not just the swan boats unless they're worried about them tipping up and you've also got a ferris wheel down here as well and not forgetting there's mini golf go-karts and also the miniature railway all down here so yeah there's a lot of different attractions to see down here on hastings seafronts here we go then so i've made my way into flamingo park just thought i'd show you the tokens prices just up there as well just to give you an idea i spent 10 pounds and got 20 tokens as you can see there from the bundles over on the right hand side but yeah i'm going to start off with the ride over on the ghost train that's three tokens here they are just here there you go you've got the maze over there little drop tower lots of different junior rides of course we've got the paratrooper over there as well mini ferris wheel dodgems and a few other rides down in that direction as well but yeah gonna start off with a nice ride on this ghost train can't really remember much about it to be honest i did do it last time i was here but yeah i'm gonna have a, a ride on there here we go here comes the ghost train how buzz and of course you've got all the thieving up there at the top as well and some rats i'm sure they're from poundland them rats at halloween <laughs> let's go inside that's quite a good prop though here we go what's that my nan that does look bad <laughs> it's even more eerie when there's no audio isn't it <laughs> oh <laughs> they just love them classic ghost trains where you just pass through doors and you can't see anything <laughs> oh, there we go, you're right in there. <laughs> I've already had a preview of the finale. I think it's the ride operator just doing a jump scare. I think there's some prop just here. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is not a nice noise. That was just coming from that. Oh, you are right there? <laughs> I really can't remember anything from this from three years ago. There we go, get ready for the jump scare, it's coming. Oh, there we go, jump scare. 
On my footage there from the ghost train, and I told you that jump scare was coming at the end. It's all good fun, isn't it, with the actor just waiting at the doors. But uh, yeah, it was all right. That three tokens going on the twister, as it's called now, four tokens, or as I would call it, a nice paratrooper. So yeah, looking forward to this. The carnival's just started out there as well, so we'll probably get some uh, aerial views looking out over Hastings Carnival. Little bonus today. Here we go then on the paratrooper. Nice and busy down here though this afternoon. And the weather's not too bad, like I say, at least the sun's shining. It might be too windy for the spinning coaches to operate. But you know what? The sun's out, there's a nice atmosphere. Well, that's what it's all about, isn't it? But yeah, in terms of rides for the little ones down here, as you can see, you've got the little Ferris wheel there, the drop tower, little car ride down there. And you get some cracking views from on this. I must say, I bet you get great views from over on the Ferris wheel. That isn't actually owned by Flamingo Park. That's external, but that's also closed due to the winds. As I probably would have had a ride on there, but I'm sure I'll be back down here in the future. Maybe next time we get the Euro Tunnel, because of course we're not too far away from that down in Folkestone. We can nip down here maybe and uh, come and get on Pinball X on the Ferris wheel. Yeah, you get some nice views. Probably go on the Dodgems next, just next door. Make the most of those. But yeah, it's really nice down here. Obviously you've got the railway, but you've also got like the clifftop tramway just over there as well, the peninsula that you can just see over in the distance. Yeah, it's quite a picturesque place, Hastings. It's got quite a lot going for it. All I can smell from on here is fish and chips. Honestly, I cannot wait for some fish and chips. I'm going to be having some this afternoon. Before I continue on with my little tour, hoping to get a third little amusement park in this afternoon if I get time. Like I say, it took me a bit longer to get part than I was hoping for, but make the best of it and see if I can. Love a good paratrooper. <laughs> Yeah, people flooding in down to the park. Really nice just to see these parks back open. And like I say, big or small, we support it all here at Theme Park Worldwide. It's like that little ride. It was good for made upon the spot, that, wasn't it? <laughs> well, let's go on the Dodgems. Here we go then on the Dodgem. So it's four tokens per car for this one. One way round, no head on bumping, the standard. Nice little cars, these ones. Train in the back of number 10 there. <laughs> I like number seven, the yellow one. Really nice colour. Charlotte like that one. Oh! Oh no, we've got a collision. Yeah, number seven's a really nice colour car. Love that, bright yellow. I'm surprised Charlotte doesn't have a yellow car, to be honest, with it being a favourite colour. Oh! oh. <laughs> Getting a bit wild there. Oh! Try to avoid that collision. Yeah, I think we'll go on the pirate ship next, shall we? Do another flat ride. Not the fastest dodgems these ones, but they're alright. Like I said, I like how they're themed up. Wouldn't it be great to work on the dodgems and just do that all day? Jumping on the back, riding round. Love to do that. Dream job. If anybody owns the dodgems and wants to let me come and do it for a day, I'll happily work for free. <laughs> Straight in the side of the silver one. Oh! <laughs> nice fun ride there on the Dodgems. I think that bloke was a bit shocked when I bumped into him. I think he'd had an easy ride up until that point. Um, but in terms of down here at the back of the park, you've got the Caterpillar coaster there. There's also the Fun House that you can see and the pirate ship just here. And that's what I'm going to go on next. So yeah, it's uh, five tokens for the pirate boat, as it's called, down here at Flamingo Park. So yeah, I'm going to take you on there next. And of course, you can see Pinball X just there behind it, the spinning coaster. I'll take you around this way just so that you can see that. Like I say, not in operation due to the winds today. But yeah, I take it this barrier would normally not be here. 
And then, yeah, you make your way down to the station for the spinning coaster and also the chair swing just up there as well. It's got the aircraft on top. Quite a nice feature, isn't it? But yeah, I think, you know, it looks good from in the park, this, but it looks better from on the outside of the park. It's a real crowd pleaser. It'll draw people in when they see that operating uh, with the boat in late the other side of it. Yeah, it's in a really nice position, that. The wind's really dropped off now today as well, but it is what it is. They've probably maybe sent staff home that we're going to operate it. I'm not too sure. But safety is always paramount, isn't it, at these parks? But anyway, we're going to have a nice ride over on the pirate ship now. Get some more views. Of course, maybe looking over the carnival. I haven't really seen much carnival action, though. Here we go, then, on the pirate ship. And yeah, you can actually see the Pinball X sign down there as well. Of course, they used to stand on top of the coaster. That when it used to be at Dreamland in Margate. So yeah, I don't know if they're going to keep it there or maybe they're going to put it back on top somewhere. I'd say they'll probably put it on top at some point. Yeah, we spin around this way, you get quite a nice view of the coaster. Like I say, it's hardly operated this thing, you know, with the lockdown restrictions and, you know, Dreamland only bought it a few years ago. So yeah, it's practically a brand new ride. So yeah, they've got a good one down here now in Hastings. Nice signature ride for them. Just a shame it can't be operating on Carnival Day, really. Talking of Carnival Day, I can't really see anything. I mean, when I came into the park, there was people gathered about, and now they're not. So it was either very, very short and not very good, or maybe it's been called off because the weather. I'm not too sure. It looks like it's going to rain. Yeah, let's take on the pirate ship then now. Let's take you on the little caterpillar next, just over there as well, right next door. Yeah, it's only a small amusement park, but you know what? good for the families it is for what it is and it's always nice to see rides being relocated i mean it would have been sad if we'd have lost pinball x and it went out of the country i know that we've already got a lot of these spinning coasters but for a part like this it'd be quite a big investment for them so now i'm really pleased that it stayed here in the uk and not gone overseas over the english channel just over there <laughs> honestly i can't wait until we can cross over again and visit Belgium, of course, would have been already, but unfortunately we can't visit Belgium at the moment. Sad because Plop Land de Pan is closer to me than Alton Towers right now. It's only over there somewhere. Literally, we would have gone to Plop Land if we could have and got on the new ride to happiness, the Mac Extreme Spinning Coaster, only the second one to ever be built. Of course, I did the original time travel at Silver Dollar City. So he sat over there across the water. But unfortunately, us Brits aren't allowed to enter Belgium at the moment. But hopefully that'll change soon. Fingers crossed. Whee! Arms in the air. <laughs> Arms in the air like you just don't care. Whee! He's loving it, living the dream. Hopefully we can just get these last few tokens used up just before the rain comes in. see what happens with this one <laughs> weather conditions are not great but along the back road it looks a bit rough out there now in the english channel look at that yeah. <laughs> oh my man. i'm just glad it's not been like this all day so it was a bit of a risk this weekend i'll be honest i didn't know what it was going to be like <laughs> they've done all right so far until this point now here we go on the caterpillar Chilly now, you'll think it was August. There we go. Hey, nice little bit of arms up. Hey. <laughs> Love it. Well, this is a bit better than the one I went on this morning at Harbour Park. Oh my god, no trimming. Oh god, I got airtime, man. Crazy. <laughs> Actually, I think I remember doing this last time and saying that it was a really good caterpillar. So yeah, it's coming back to me now, the memories from three years ago. But yeah, I do like it down here in Hastings. It was better when the sun was shining about 10, 15 minutes ago though. But it is what it is, isn't it? Come down, support your local parks. That's what it's all about. I am absolutely freezing now. Oh my God, it's really chilly. Good staff down here as well. Up, up for a laugh, which is good. 
doing the scares on the ghost train and yeah it's good fun arms in the air I'll see what tokens I got left and maybe do the fun house possibly. See what we got left tokens wise. Whoa, airtime! It's a three lap special. See you when I come on. Well, it was a bit of a wet and windy ride there on the Big Apple, but at least it got on there. And uh, yeah, I can see why the spinning coast is closed now. Wind is really picking up this afternoon here in Hastings. But yeah, it was good to uh, get back in Flamingo Park and get some rides in. I only had one token left, so I thought I'll give that to somebody who's uh, buying tokens. Not a kind. But uh, yeah, in terms of Pimble X, that spinning coast that you can see just there, I thought I'd put in a POV for you now from when I filmed it when it was at Dreamland. Like I say, it's the exact same ride. Um, it's left Dreamland and they've purchased it here at Flamingo Park. So just before wrapping up this video, over the next couple of minutes, I'll just put in an on-ride POV of Pinball X in its previous location, just so you've got an idea what it's like. Bear in mind, I think it'll ride even better here, right next to the water, just adds to the fear factor on there, doesn't it? So yeah, as you can see from the on-ride POV there, quite a substantial ride for a park this size to get. So I wish them every success with it over the summer. Really hope the weather's a bit better for them and of course they can get it operating. With it being Carnival Day, it would have been ideal to see that going round today and a big money maker for them. Of course, with it being a seafront location amusement park, when you've got a big ride like that, it's a real crowd pleaser and it draws people in. So feel sad for them really that that and of course the Star Flyer have had to be closed today. But of course, safety is always paramount. Overall, though i did all them rides for 10 quid like i think it's good value little park down here well worth coming to check out in hastings on the seafront and like i say you've got various other different attractions to enjoy down here as well uh, the big wheel's still off because of the wind but again you know safety is always paramount with these parks and attractions so shame that they're closed but it's certainly not going to be the last time i'm here in hastings i'll be back down here again at some point in the future maybe even later this year when we're getting the euro tunnel if we can time it and come and nip in i'm not too sure if not it'll be 2022 but nice to come and see Pinball X in this location, get a few other rides in, and of course share another vlog for you all. Anyway, I'm gonna get back in the car now, about an hour's drive further down the coast, um, to Dimchurch, that's where I'm heading next, to a little amusement park there. I think they've got a ghost train, and they've got a little coaster, never actually been there before, so yeah, looking forward to that, picking up a plus one coaster credit too. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm heading, Dimchurch Amusement Park, that'll be the third and final vlog coming up from this little series that I've filmed today. And then tomorrow, I'm planning to visit Old MacDonald's Farm, 
farm um, to go and visit there because there's a coaster I want to ride and also check it out and also visit Adventure Island again. So yeah, plenty of vlogs coming up and then me and Charlotte are going to be back with a vlog from Chessington World of Adventures. So lots coming up over the next couple of weeks and of course, as I mentioned in my recent Alton Towers vlog, I'm going to be heading on a broad trip in the next couple of weeks too. So lots to look forward to and don't worry, I am getting my hair cut before that. Uh, I know that I do spike it up now but it's a bit long isn't it? I realised when I was on that caterpillar coaster just how long it is, like it needs cutting. I'm looking a bit like Jedward. Uh, thanks for watching Theme Park Worldwide. I'll see you down in Dimchurch and that leaves me with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. See you all later.